Well, today's episode of Relationship SOS is from a viewer, and it's a viewer email. And it goes as follows. How do you know when a marriage is over? All we do is fight, make up, and fight again. I'm sick of it. I think I'm done. Yeah, you can't be sure when you're fighting, right? Because everybody's negative and mad. Yeah. So I want to reference something here. Have you ever seen this show on TV? It's called Love It or List It. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They take a house that you live in and you're growing out of. House doesn't fit the family anymore. It's not functional and all that kind of stuff. And then they say, okay, we're going to fix up this house, make it totally functional, update it to your lifestyle, make it fit your lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. And then when the house is looking its best, it's most functional, we're going to decide whether you want to live in the house, keep the house, or you want to buy a new house. So people tend to make the mistake when they're fighting, they're not getting along, thinking, okay, it just it's so awful, nothing's working, that's it, let's bail. But that's the wrong time to make a decision. You have to get help, you have to see your marriage or your relationship on its best legs. You have to be able to sit across from each other and say, okay, I totally hear what you're saying, I get why you're unhappy, I know that you've heard why, uh, why I'm unhappy, we've, you know, we've improved our communication, all that kind of stuff, and we still don't want to be together. That's when you know you're ready to move on. Never make a decision when you're mad, is what you're saying. You can't. You can't. You can't. Until you've seen your relationship as good as it can get, you really haven't sort of earned your way out of it yet. So what if you're mad because somebody cheated on you? Then you have to try and resolve it, right? You get help. You talk about it. What led up to it? You have to you're not to making an excuse, you know, why, you know, forgive me or this is the reason, but you look for an explanation. Why was the relationship weak that, that this break happened? Right? Because it's going to happen in the next one too. People just think this relationship is going to be next, different than the next one and they never are.